Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well. Let's talk about Aptos. Aptos is a level 1 blockchain and for that you will need a separate wallet, not your MetaMask. If you have already set up a wallet, that is good. If you don't know, you can come to CoinGecko and here you will not only find the information about the price, TBL, circulating supply, total supply, etc. But you can also find the wallets. So if you scroll down to this section, under the wallet you will see the different names. So these are the compatible wallets for Aptos blockchain. You can use anyone. I like Petra, so I'm using that mostly. Then also under the community, you can find the social media links. So these are the real links. So make sure you double check them from here. Once you have the wallet set up, the next step will be to actually fund that wallet. So you will need Aptos because on Aptos blockchain, the Aptos is the main native token that is used for the gas. So to get the Aptos token, one way is to withdraw from the central live exchanges. And if you want to know which exchanges support Aptos, you can come to this market section and you will see the list of all the exchanges that provide Aptos so you can buy from these exchanges and withdraw it to your wallet. The second way is to bridge from the Aptos official bridge. And when you're bridging, you will be bridging from your MetaMask or EVM compatible chains to Aptos blockchain. This is simple. You have to connect two wallets. One will be your MetaMask and then you can select your Aptos wallet. I'm going to select Petra. Now my both wallets are connected. I'm going to bridge from my EVM compatible wallet to Aptos. When I connect my MetaMask, I can see all my assets on different chains, especially the ones that I can bridge over. Now, the good thing about this bridge is this is going to touch layer zero. And if you have not heard about that, layer zero is also going to do an airdrop. So the more interaction you have, then you will be eligible for a better airdrop. So just bridging it will help you to touch that layer zero airdrop. You can do it multiple times. Keep in mind that this costs some fee. So this is an expensive route comparing it when you are withdrawing from a centralized exchange. The other thing that you have to keep in mind when you are withdrawing that you are withdrawing USD token or Ethereum token. But on Aptos blockchain, you need Aptos for gas fee. And since this is a new wallet, you will not have Aptos there. But there is a solution. There is this option add gas on destination. So I'm going to click on this one. And if I go to medium or max, max is 0.1. So I think this is a good amount. So 0.1, you can click on it and it will tell you how much it will cost. Once you select it, it will automatically add 0.1 AP token on your destination chain. This will be enough gas fee for multiple transactions. So you don't have to worry. But, and also then you can swap your USDT to Aptos to go from there. Aptos blockchain is very efficient on the gas, so you will not have problems to do multiple swap with this amount. The next step is just to click on transfer, approve the transaction, and you will be done. In a few seconds, you will have your USDT on Aptos chain and some of the gas fee. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can write down in the comment section and I will get back to you. Happy investing!